I hope this I'm talking loud enough. I don't want to talk loud because I don't want people to know I'm recording because that makes me uncomfortable when people are listening to me. Okay, but hey, I'm Day. And so this video is going to be a wig install. I'm trying to see if I want to do like me talking, if that will make me feel better. Or like a voiceover, or it might be a mix of both. I don't know, it just depends if y'all can hear me or not. So, yeah, the wig I'm installing is this one. I think it's like a 16, pretty sure it's a 16, 16 frontal. I washed it and I just let it air dry while I was gone. And so I'm trying to debate like, do I want to just wear it straight or do I want to, or do I want to curl it? Probably gonna do a side part. Don't think I do a middle part. I don't know. I'll figure it out along the way. But that's her. So I already took my other wig off, cleaned my hairline. I'll do it again. I oiled my scalp and I greased my scalp. And so now I'm just probably finna pin these up somewhere. Just, or maybe just put the cap on and let the cap hold them up. But first I'm going to slick back my edges and then clean my hair along with alcohol. And then I will start my bulk up. Okay, so I'm using the black tube of Got To Be to slick my edges back and then a regular regular little edge brush. Um, my mom got me from the hair store. She buys me like three at a time because I break stuff a lot. I get my handy thing to blow dry and blow dry it on cool and like hold it back so it stays back. So after I went around, I just with the gel in the blow dryer. I'll just take a little bit of the got to be sure, just a little bit, not a lot, and like do it in sections. So like do this half and then the middle, and then this half. Or well, I might start in the middle. Just kind of depends. I have a mirror. I said that. I think. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so after I finished doing that, I'm just gonna look at them. And so now I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we're gonna start the ball cap. So, yeah, pulled it back to bring the edges back. And so then I cut a little hole and I stretch it, and not too much, so I don't want it to. Open all the way. That's the end of my hair. I just tuck that back in. I also took my earrings out. Or my bottom earrings out. Same thing. On this side, pull it. This way I pull it far. This on my bars will fit through, but yeah. And then I'll make sure I pull it down in the back. And make sure. My hairline is nice and back there. And then I just take my got to be spray and I spray it on my hairline. Like literally like right where my hair stops and then I bring it back. And then I I do a little bit in front of my hairline. Like my hairline's here. And I spray down to like right here. I usually blow dry it, but since I have homework to do, I'll probably be writing notes and blow drying. Kind of back and forth, it still depends. But yeah, basically all you would do is blow dry it, and then I do this like 
maybe two or three times and then after that i'll come back so we finish or i finish letting this dry and so what i like to do since this isn't sewn down i use this band so i'm gonna do is pick it up and cut it from uh, this Okay, then I take this and I pull it over and I just weave it right here. So that way it's still tight and it's holding my braids in the back up and they won't come out. And so it's really just like a support band. I don't know if I just did this one day or if I saw it somewhere. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I just be doing stuff half the time. But it doesn't really matter where you, like, leave it because, I mean, it's not going to be seen because my frontal's, you know, about yay big. This is what I had it last time, and it didn't um, cause any problems. So now I'm just going to get a little closer to my mirror. So we're going to cut the edges so I can clearly see where my hair is. So I usually cut and leave maybe, like... I don't know how much that is, but like this much space between my hairline. So my hairline is here. So I'll probably cut to like right here. And so I just kind of pull it up and go around. This is just like my base cut. And then I actually get my wig and put it on my head and see where the lace falls and see where what or see where I need to cut. Um, some more of the cap off and just position it to make sure everything lines up the way it needs to. Okay, so I finished doing the initial cut. Cut this little piece. And so I'm gonna grab my wig. Oh my gosh, she's over there. And then I'll pull the hair back in the front. So that's not in my way. Mm, okay. Can I pull this up. I might need to trim where my ears are supposed to go. I don't know. Is it because my braids are flatter or what? But my wigs have not been fitting how they used to. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely have to. Move the size back some, which is not that big of a deal. So what I do is, you know, the area where I need it to go back, just lift it up. Beautiful. So pull the hair back. You see how the cap is completely. You know, underneath the wig. That's what you want. You don't want any of the cap sticking out. Like, if it was looking like this, you would have to cut that cap. And so, we in there. This is dry, so I'm cleaning my hairline with alcohol. 
And so now I'm going to take some powder, probably. I don't feel like using foundation. So just take, let me see. This is just like a random face powder that I have. I'm gonna get my makeup brush, put it on there, and just dust it to try to make this as close to my skin tone as possible. to clean my hairline again to get the makeup off that I just I'm sorry my laptop is just like not doing what it's supposed to do hello get together anyway now I'm just going to clean my hairline and get that extra makeup off I'm back. So, what I did was I clipped the front so all the hair is like out the way. Because we're about to start gluing her down. Up right here, this double like I swear when I do my hair, I like double, triple, quadruple check to make sure everything lines up. Yes, we look good. I would slide it just a little bit back, <clears throat> and get my glue. This is the glue I'm using. I got it from the hair store. So I do three layers and I do my hair in three sections. So I do the middle, then a side, then the other side. So I do all three layers, pull the wig, glue it down. I usually go right side and left side. That's just, I don't know, it's just how I am. And then I do three layers, glue it down, three layers, put the wig on, and then I, um, take an elastic band around my forehead or around my head and let that sit and then we just kind of see what happens after that so I'm going to I don't know should I bring it closer maybe I should bring it closer welcome to being closer okay so I usually go from like maybe here to here on my first section Somewhere around there. If it's a little more, it doesn't really... It's just how I work. Like, you can do your whole hairline at one time and just do three layers like that. But I just feel like I get a better, more precise and cleaner install when I just go in sections. Cause I don't feel overwhelmed to try to get everything in place before... Um, before... It dries. I can let it air dry, but for speed reasons, we'll get out here and blow dryer on cool and dry the first layer. Okay, so it doesn't take long at all to dry. With the blow dryer, and then I just go in second layer. And now for our final layer. Okay. 
right, so this is the crucial part, putting the wig on. So you obviously want it to still be tacky. Don't let it be too dry. So still even, do you pick up the lace? I like driving my fingers underneath these so I can like get it where I need it. And literally lift, pull, and place right at the edge. You gotta relax your forehead. The edge of the glue. And push it down. And I'm just gonna use my fingers, but if you have a comb, you can use a comb. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure it cut out when I was doing this part, or when I had just finished. I just did this right side off camera because I've literally been struggling for the past two hours. Trying to play with getting clips from certain places to other places and it's just not working right now. And I'm just like, I might as well just record them all. So I at least have them. Hopefully it stops acting stupid. It was working fine until recently or until just now. So I don't know what it got going. What's going on right now? But anyway, I doing the same thing I've been doing. I just got done uh, applying and blow drying the third layer, so I'm gonna show you. Pull it up, put it in position. Mm. Put everything where it's supposed to be. Push it down. Hold it down. You know, just push it. You take your rat tail comb just to make sure everything is fused. And don't worry if you didn't like get all the edges. And you can go back in underneath which is what i'm gonna do now you literally just pull whatever lace you didn't get back and go across just spread it out like you do on a layer shut down and so we have the initial install on and now we're gonna move into you know perfecting it I'm debating if I want to just go ahead and sew it down first and then come back to the front or I might what I'm probably gonna do is brush all my edges back and then spray it with my got to be spray tie it down with my elastic band and then do the back genius so I just pulled my hair back into a ponytail. So I'm debating if I want to spray it or do I want to just use gel. Mm. I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just spray it. So I have this elastic. It is dirty because I used it multiple times, multiple installs for multiple, multiple months. So I literally, I just take it. Cool, cool, cool. And I just let this sit for a while while I go do other stuff. 
shopper I might go ahead and sew it down I might take a break from doing my hair because I don't even got irritated dealing with technology so yeah this is how we're looking I just put it back in the bun but right now we just want our lace melts but yeah okay so I'm gonna go write some more of my notes and then I'll be back in maybe mm, 30 minutes, 32 seconds for y'all, 30 minutes for me, maybe an hour.